Hi everyone, welcome back. So I've got another shot my stash today. It's the end of the month yet again. These months really just are flying by this year. It's crazy that it'll be July in a couple of days. So I do have my shot my stash where I recap the products that I was working on in the previous month. So I'll talk through the products that I was working on in June and then we will pick up some more makeup. I'll put it on and then in the next update I'll do the same thing all over again. Now I didn't have many products in June that I was using. I only had five products. And I think that's just because I've got my project pan going on and I've got my pan in every eyeshadow palette challenge going on as well that I've previously felt having too many products in my shop mustache is basically just a lot of makeup to try to wear every day. So that's really why I had five items in my previous shop mustache and with this selection, got no idea what I want to pick, but I don't think I want a load of makeup as well, especially because it's just so hot at the moment. It's really hot today. It's really quite disgusting. It's really muggy. I think we need another storm. And I don't really want to be wearing loads of makeup on my face. I'm actually enjoying going for a very light, low amount of makeup and I kind of want to keep that moving forwards whilst the weather is still really hot but let me talk through those five items that I was working on last month. So I included my two newest, oh if I can turn it around, my two newest eyeshadow palettes that I got at the end of last year. They're both ABH dupes. So the first one is the Revolution Reloaded Hypnotic Palette which is a dupe for ABH Sultry and I bought this one because I thought oh that's got some lovely like silver metallic shimmer shades in there it's got a peach um, and I wear the warm browns <laughs> so that's a really stupid decision of me to buy a palette where I thought oh yeah that's got some really lovely colours and then I just wear the warm browns but now I know why I know that I like those warm brown shades I think they're flattering on me they suit my um, my colour analysis my autumn colouring and I wanted to include both of these palettes so I can wear every single shade and the shades that I know that I don't like, I'm not going to wear, I will get rid of. So this palette I wore six times and I did wear all of the shades. And there are actually quite a few shades in this palette that I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to try and remember which ones they are. So if we go from the top row, this one I think is fine because that's just a dark brown eyeliner shade. This one is a warm like light apricot shimmer very pretty shade but the actual powder itself is really really poor it's really difficult to work with poorly pigmented and i've got other shadows in my collection that are pretty similar to it similar to it and perform way better so this one i will actually be getting rid of that one i'm keeping that, that i think and then i think the rest of the top row i am keeping i'm gonna get rid of this shimmery pink shade here very very pretty shade but it does lean quite cool toned on me so i won't be wearing cool tones i'm gonna purely stick to warm tones so that one i will get rid of and same with the rest of this row actually the rest of this row are kind of mostly cool tones apart from this peach this peach is a little bit warm but it's not the type of color that i tend to wear like i say i like browns browns golds coppers those are my colors so although that color is pretty i'm going to get rid of that one going to get rid of this silver one here this is like a gray silver cool toned again a very pretty shade but i'm just not going to wear it this one is really pretty this one is a bit of a slightly warmer gray silver color very pretty shade again but i'm not going to wear it and that's the thing i, I could keep hold of it because I, I think it's pretty but realistically am i going to wear it no i'm not you're not a brown or gold or copper so i know i'm just not going to wear it so the only shade on the second row that i'm going to keep is this matte ivory shade here and then on the bottom row i'm getting rid of that black don't wear black don't even wear it for an eyeliner and then i'll get rid of this one here which is like a gray taupe color not a very nice shadow at all on me it kind of makes my eyes look sunken tired highlights my dark circles so in this palette there are 15 shades and i am getting rid of eight shades i forgot to mention this top one i am gonna get rid of as well actually because that one does pull a bit type on me from memory and i'll be left with seven shades is that did i just say yeah seven shades and the shades that i will be left with are all of the warm browns so i really do need to just stop buying eyeshadow because i have enough in my collection and it's actually not a bit of makeup that i really particularly enjoy wearing i think if i was going to start from scratch i don't think i would get any eyeshadow or maybe just one little palette i don't know but i really don't need as much eyeshadow as i currently have i know that 
Then I've got this Wet n Wild palette. This is the My Glamour Squad palette, which is a dupe for ABH Soft Glam. And I wore this one three times, and there are not going to be as many shades in this palette that I'm going to get rid of. So you have two, four, six, eight, ten shades in this palette, and I'm going to be getting rid of one, two, three, four shades. So I'm going to get rid of these two pinky purple shimmer, shimmery ones here. Again, really pretty shades, but not the types of shades that I wear, and they are a little bit cool toned on me. I'm going to get rid of this red here, a warm toned red, but it's just too dark. I don't wear like dark eyeshadow. I like to keep it very kind of light to medium. I don't tend to go that dark with my eyeshadow because even though it will be warm, I still feel like it makes my eyes look quite heavy. And then I'm going to get rid of the black as well. So out of the 10 shades in here, I'm going to be keeping hold of six. And surprise, surprise, again, they are warm golden brown shades. So... This palette, much better quality than the Revolution one. It's much easier to get a nicer eyeshadow look with this palette. So yeah, similar prices, but the quality of the Wet n Wild is just a lot better than the Revolution palette. I then included my mini Rare Beauty blusher in the shade Joy because I wasn't too sure whether this was too bright for me. It is a warm peachy coral, but I do think it leans more spring bright than muted autumn pretty shade and I, I can kind of make it work on me I used it three times but I think I am actually going to be ruthless I'm going to be brutal and declutter this because this is a blusher that has just sat in my collection all year not being used I didn't use it much last year and to be totally honest I think if I was to put it back in my dressing table I wouldn't use it again so yeah I think I am gonna get rid of this it's a nice enough shade but it's not a blusher that I tend to reach for so yeah if I do put it back in my collection I know I'm just not going to reach for it so I'm going to be brutal and declutter this blusher and then last two products I included are new products in my collection and I am really starting to enjoy wearing a real minimal base I'm finding foundation just too heavy and I have like light coverage foundations in my collection I've got four of them and even they're too heavy for me so I bought two kind of like tinted moisturizer type products first one a Borean CC cream I wore this one nine times I've got this one in the shade Claire I've previously tried their BB cream and loved it it gives such a beautiful radiant look to your skin it kind of makes your skin have that glass skin type effect but this one the CC cream is a lighter coverage and it's beautiful it it goes on like white and then when you blend it in it sort of matches itself to your skin tone so quite kind of clever this one is slightly more coverage than the sculpted by by Amy one that I'll talk about in a minute so if I wanted a high amount of coverage or if I wanted to feel like my makeup lasted a bit longer I would go for the Arborian one really really enjoyed that one used that one nine times I got it in the little 15ml tube to try it love it would definitely repurchase and would also repurchase it in the bigger size as well and then the Sculpted by Amy Hydrotin is the next one. I used this one eight times. This one has SPF 20 in it. This is a lighter coverage and this one has more of like a glow to it. Whereas the Arborian CC Cream that is more of a matte finish. Although there is a, a bit of like luminosity still to your skin. So if I wanted a little bit of coverage but something a lot kind of glowier. And just something that bit lighter I would go for the Hydrotin. I got mine in the shade 2, really good match for me and I loved this one as well. I'm really really enjoying just having a very lightweight, natural, low coverage kind of base. So I think in my next project plan I'm going to roll in a foundation and try to get those four foundations I have, or well, actually three of them really, get three of those four foundations used up because I know what's going to happen, I am just going to reach for this and this ahead of my foundations so loved these beautiful products and uh, yeah especially in this warm weather I'm just really enjoying having a very lightweight base right let's go to my dressing table then let's pick out some new makeup to be working in got no idea what I feel like picking so it's going to be a surprise to both you and me so let's go have a look Okay, let's start off with this container of makeup. So I've got a mixture in here. I've got a bit of eyes, a bit of lips, but mostly base products. These are all of my foundations. 
I'm not going to include any of these because I think I'm going to include one of these foundations in my project pan so I will hold off for now that is a MAC paint pot not going to include that I have a couple of liquid lipsticks here this is my new one that I got from House of Colour I did put this one up in my House of Colour lips try on video this is the Tuscan Sun colour so like a burnt orange red and seeing as we're in summer now this is a type of shade that I really like to wear so I'm going to include that one and then for eyeliners, I've not included my nude peaches and cream eyeliner in a while, so I'm gonna grab that one. And then I think that's kind of it for this. Actually, no, let's take this clear lip gloss. This will be actually quite handy, maybe the maybe a little bit over the top of that liquid lip. So yeah, let's pop that one in as well. Right, more lip options. Okay, what lip glosses do I want to include? Oh, I've got a red here. Yeah, yeah let's include that one that's a red lip gloss from house of color let's also go for my coral as well that'll be lovely lip liners i will leave that brown one there for now i'm gonna go for these two so this one is my house of color deep coral one which is basically like a very warm red and then i'm gonna go for another warm red but not as vibrant this is mac chicory which is an orange red Okay, lip colours. I want to go for some of my brighter House of Colour lipsticks. So let's start off with 709 Soft Smooth Coral. This is my coral lipstick. A little bit more vibrant than I'm used to wearing, but coral is great for this time of the year. So I'll include that one. Along with my new one, this is, what is this one? Copper, just copper. This is 410 Copper. So this is a kind of rust coral hybrid it's still quite bright and this is my newest house of color one so we'll be good to get that one out i think i want to go for quite a few kind of lip colors to be honest i think that's mostly what this shot my stash will will include let's go as well sorry i've got the window open because it's so hot in this room so you will probably hear some outside noise this one is six zero this is ginger shimmer this one is a rust that's quite vibrant and it's got a bit of gold shimmer in it let's go for that one and then why not let's go for another one this is 308 true terracotta this is an orange lipstick so where i'm going for more kind of vibrant autumn colors in my clothes i want to reflect that in my makeup at the moment so it makes sense for me to include some brighter lip options so i'll go for that one as well and then that will be it for lip colors because that's already four lipsticks a liquid lip three glosses to be working on and that's quite a bit for a month and then just a few bits for sort of cheap products. This is my bronzer that I'm basically using at the moment anyway because it's my only powder bronzer now. Face powder. And then I've got a cream bronzer, but I have a cream bronzer alternative in my project pan. I'm going to go for one of my blushes because I feel like I'm kind of neglecting the blushes that aren't in my project pan at the moment. So this is Vive Pesca. This is a beautiful peach colour great for this time of year but also just a really good year-round colour on me so let's include that one and then I think that is going to be it so I'm just going to quickly put on the bits of makeup that aren't in this shop my stash <sighs> somebody's bibbing their horn outside it that's that's the annoying thing about this time of the year you open your windows because it's hot but then there's just people outside making lots of noise I mean, it's understandable, I suppose, because obviously people want to go outside when it's hot, but it's noises like that, that I just think, can you just shush? just want a bit of a bit of quiet and to let the air flow. But anyway, I'm putting on a bit of under eye corrector. I think I'm probably going to use that tinted, that Hydra tint by Sculpted by Amy. I'll do my brows and then I will come back to do the rest of the makeup. Okay, so I've done my brows, I've done the Sculpted by Amy Hydra Tint concealer and then my eyeshadow stick as like a cream bronzer. I want to use one of the lipsticks as a blusher. This is 410 Copper. This is one that I don't think has shimmer in it. So let's work some of this on my cheeks and see how this... Oh, that looks crazy, doesn't it? Let's see how this goes as a blusher. Mm-hmm, that works. 
yeah that works as a as a cream blusher that's the great thing about lipsticks not just for your lips put them on the eyes if you want if it's kind of safe to do so and on your cheeks as a blusher and then it ties it all in together right so i've done a little bit on the eyes mascara on and i've done my bronzer for blusher i'm going to use the vive pesca blusher such a pretty shade this one is i sometimes like to add a bit of this to milani luminoso because they're they're fairly similar except this one is just slightly more muted and doesn't have shimmer in it but together they really do complement each other quite nicely I've just put a bit of highlighter on. I'm now just going to put some of this nude pencil in my waterline. So for lips, I think I'm going to do a little bit of a cocktail. I'm going to go for True Terracotta, which is that orange shade, and then 60 Ginger Shimmer, which is the rust. Slightly brighter and has a little bit of shimmer in it. I think I want to put both of those together. Together. Let's do 60 first. If you're using your finger to blend out your lipstick and then you're like, oh, I've got lipstick on my finger, what do I do with it? Just pat it onto your cheeks, a little bit more blusher. And then this is the True Terracotta. Just to lighten and brighten that shade a bit. And then to neaten up, I'm going to use some of the Deep Coral Lip Liner. And that is done. I think quite happy with that lip. That matches my orange top pretty well. And so this is the finished look. So it's quite a lip product heavy shop moustache at this time around. But as I'm kind of, not so much getting older, but, but as my kind of like makeup preferences are changing, I'm really not liking having a lot going on on the eyes. So I've just got a bit of like a little bit of a brown eye look on today. And I much prefer making my lips the kind of focal point of my makeup so yeah that's what I've done today with this bright orange shade so feeling very summery in my outfit and makeup today so hope you liked it please do give it a thumbs up if you did thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very very soon for my next one thank you bye